Working at the front of the radiator support, remove the two T20 torque fasteners from the intake duct, as indicated by the green arrows. Working at the intake air duct connection on the air filter housing, use a small flathead screwdriver. Release the retaining tabs on each side and pull the duct off. This is for the naturally aspirated engines only. For turbocharged engines, the duct on the radiator support unscrews the same as the previous step. The duct for the air filter housing is also removed the same way. The air filter housing is in a different spot. Follow the duct and release the tabs to remove it. Then pull the intake duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the vehicle. Green arrow. If your vehicle has an automatic transmission, you will have to remove the ATF cooler from the cooling fan shroud. Working under the left side of the radiator, remove the ATF cooler fasteners, green arrow. Then pull the cooler off the cooling fan shroud. Once you remove the cooler from the shroud, you can lay it aside. Working at the top of the cooling fan, Disconnect the cooling fan electrical connector by pressing the release tab and pulling apart, as indicated by the green arrows. Working at the top of the cooling fan, pull the hose out of the plastic mounts, green arrows, and lay it aside. If your vehicle has a turbocharger, remove the duct from the rubber mount on the cooling fan shroud by pulling it off. Working at the right side of the cooling fan, remove the wiring harness mount from the cooling fan by pulling it out. Yellow arrow. If the wiring harness mount is a push-in tree style clip, you can lever it out using an interior trim panel tool. Then remove the T25 torque cooling fan fastener, green arrow. Working at the left side of the cooling fan shroud, disconnect the lock to release the cooling fan. The lock is released by pressing the tab, green arrow, towards the engine firewall. Then pull the cooling fan up and remove from the engine compartment. Be careful not to snag the fan on wires and hoses. When installing the new cooling fan, slide it down into the engine compartment, move it into place, then lock the retaining tabs. Be sure the fan is properly seated in the radiator support, green arrow. If the fan is giving you a hard time and will not drop all the way down, check to see if the bottom of the cooling fan is hung up on the radiator. Green arrow. From below, check the fan shroud clearance at the radiator. If needed, gently lever the fan away from the radiator, then slide down and lock it into place. Reroute the wiring harness and connect. Install the air ducts and reinstall the ATF cooler if equipped. Install the engine splash shield and check the cooling fan operation. You can check the operation by running the engine and turning the AC on. The cooling fan will run when the AC is switched on. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.